Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am going to demonstrate how to find a very intermittent misfire using a crankshaft position sensor signal, no matter hole effect sensor or VR type sensor. Here is a VR type crank signal I took from Chevrolet 4 cylinder car. Had a very intermittent misfire at the idle, especially with the AC compressor load. In this waveform, yellow trace is crank signal and green trace is secondary ignition signal at the number one spark plug wire. You can use this method which I am going to explain now in any scope software which you are using for diagnostics if it is support for frequency match channel. Here I am using amassing edge scope software. So let's apply a frequency match channel on the yellow trace of crank signal. Just go to the match channel and I select here frequency channel 1 because my crank signal is on the channel 1. You can see an additional red trace appeared itself here. That is the frequency match channel for the crank signal. Frequency match channel means calculation of the frequency changes of the crank signal and report it as a waveform by the software itself. In the zoom out view, we can see the glitches on this red trace of match channel if misfire occurred during the waveform capture. You can see a one glitch here which indicate a misfire. Let's zoom in the waveform and have a closer look to identify the misfire. Do you see that glitch here? This is the area where we need to closer analysis to identify the misfiring cylinder. Remember that this method is recommend to identify very intermittent misfire as I said earlier. Just keep recording the crank signal until you feel or hear the misfire once or couple of time. When we zoom it more, we can see that glitch here barely. But if you zoom it in more and more, then it will be a flat line of this match channel making it hard to see the glitch where occurred the misfire. Look at this. Now this is almost flat line which that glitch disappeared. For avoid this matter, I will show you a trick in this H-Corp software because definitely we need to zoom this waveform in to identify the misfiring cylinder. There is a good facility available on HCOV software which we can select individual trace and zoom it or out just that trace apart from other channels. Look at this, I can just select the red trace and move it to up and down or zoom it in or out. So I just drag this red trace using two fingers moving to opposite direction to enlarge just the red trace. But yellow trace and the green trace stay where they are. If you need to enlarge them too, you can do it same way, super easy. Do you see now that glitch appear on the red trace perfectly? We need to apply the firing order to identify the which cylinder is misfiring. So I just apply it between these secondary ignition signals where I took at the number one cylinder spark plug wire. In this specific car, firing order is 1342 as you are seen here. Just align the firing order between those two ignition signals. Okay, we are in the firing order now. You can see here at this point number one cylinder fired. Then you can see this match channel frequency signal goes bit higher and go down again little bit back in a curvy shape. This curvy line represents the crankshaft velocity. Increase the speed when the cylinder is fired and when next cylinder comes to the compression stroke, crankshaft speed get lower little bit. Each curvy line between two cylinders in the firing order represent this scenario. But do you see that there is a collapse of the frequency in this area after the number 4 cylinder firing event? But after that we have those curvy lines as normal along the way. So this area is the misfired cylinder which is number 4 cylinder caused to collapse the frequency or otherwise get slower the crankshaft velocity. Now we know this very intermittent misfire occur in the number 4 cylinder in this car. Remember that enlarge the frequency match channel waveform to identify the misfired cylinder without any complication on the edge scope. And don't forget to use enough sampling rate such as 150 kilo samples per second at least for this test. Otherwise frequency match channel will be a crappy signal which you find nothing. Hope this frequency match channel method and the tricks I told might be helpful for your diagnosis. Really this method save a lot of time of my diagnosis process. I found that corroded terminal in number 4 cylinder ignition socket. 
This one was a single ignition coil pack distribute the ignition to the four cylinders using plug wires as shown in this picture. The inner metal pin in this number 4 ignition port had been badly corroded. Hard to clean and restore it. Customer has to replace the entire coil pack as it is a single unit. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and stay subscribed with us for more scoping and diagnostic videos.